Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey Pisces, it's Dana. What's going on you guys? What's going on? Let's do a little something something here for the end of your week. Okay Pisces? End of your week, close it out, get you prepared for the weekend and what's to come for the week ahead. Let's do it Pisces, let's do it. If y'all don't know, I wrote a book. Go check it out. It is the ultimate guide to shed your skin and awaken your soul. All right, all right, let's do it, you guys. Also, Pisces, I am having a sale. I know, the first time ever in the history of me, I am having a sale. So if you wanna go to thepathofpurpose.org, you can get 30 minutes for 50 bucks or 45 minutes for 75. It is a deal. A deal, a deal. So, if you all want to partake in that, if you've been waiting to get your cards read somehow, some way, this is a really good opportunity to uh, get your cards read by me, all right? All right, Pisces, let's do it. Let's see what the heck is in store for some of us in the next coming little bit. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, snuggle up to this table. If you are returning to my channel, thank you so very much for uh, coming back and, and joining the tribe. All y'all, make sure that you subscribe because if you don't subscribe, you don't know when I'm going to post videos. And I'm not a YouTube posting maniac like most of the other tarot channels that you're watching. So if you want to keep track of me, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right, Pisces? All right, let's do this. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. We will talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story, all right? I'm going to confuse the heck out of you for just a second, so stay with me and I will read the story to you in its entirety. All right, let's do this. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective of Pisces here with me, Spirit, and Pisces wants to know what you know. What do you know about Pisces and what does Pisces need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future spirit? What is coming towards this particular Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? Woo-wee! And how do they navigate for their very best and highest good? All right, kids, let's do it. Let's go. One, two, and three. Two, and three. Boom, bottom of the deck, the Three of Pentacles. Teamwork, collaboration. Princess of Cups in reverse, the Hermit in reverse, the Three of Wands, and the Ten of Cups to the Seven of Pentacles and the Princess of Wands. Very nice, very nice. Okay, all right, let's see what we got going on here. So the first card out for this particular Pisces is the Eight of Swords, all right? So all stuck in your head about something. The Emperor to the Fool. Wow, very nice. Emperor to the Fool to the Hierophant in reverse and the Queen of Swords. The Ace of Wands in reverse. The Star. The Six of Cups in the center of your spread. The Princess of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Nice, nice. Two of Cups, fantastic. The Ace of Swords, the Four of Swords in reverse, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Pentacles in reverse, and the Empress, the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Prince of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Cups, the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Chariot, and Death in reverse to the Eight of Wands. Absolutely fantastic. And look, the Magician as well. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Let's make some sense out of all of these and see what the heck we're all talking about right here, Pisces. Let's see what's going on. All 
All right, Pisces. All right, Pisces. This is what's going on for y'all right now, Pisces. Someone out there. Someone out there, Pisces. Eight of Swords is all tied up in their head, paralyzed with some kind of overthinking fear about an opportunity with the Page of Pentacles, right? There's some kind of offer that is directly affecting your sense of well-being, okay? Five of Swords in reverse says let go of some kind of mindset that you have about this offer. The Three of Cups, because everything is falling into place as it should. Joy, celebration, friendship, community, everything is falling into place as it should. And Pisces is like, in a state of panic. An offer comes in and they are worried about something, but the Three of Cups says it's 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 all good, Pisces. The Emperor. Um, this is, I do believe, two things here. I think this is Major Arcana telling Pisces to pull it together, take control, that this is a foundational stone for your future. I also believe that the Emperor is the person that is making this offer to Pisces with the Knight of Swords right there, okay? The Fool says this is new. This is brand new, brand new beginning, brand new journey. It is uh, part of your, your path, your purpose, part of the direction that you are supposed to be going. The Queen of Wands comes on top of this and talks about somebody that is... Uh, helping you somehow, some way, okay? So this offer that's coming through to this Pisces is being divinely orchestrated. Everybody's in place to bring Pisces what this Pisces needs to move into the next phase of their life, okay? And the Eight of Swords in reverse Remember this Eight of Swords over here? This Eight of Swords in reverse says, it's time for new perspective, Pisces. New perspective. Don't be locked down, freaking out about this offer. It's a good offer, and you need to have a new perspective about it, okay? The Hierophant in reverse. Hierophant in reverse is about the cutting loose of ties, commitments, and obligations. Perhaps you have to leave one situation. You have to cut ties, commitments, obligations to one situation to move in to another situation. Perhaps it is a, a relationship that you're leaving to start another relationship. Perhaps it's a place that you live that you're leaving to move someplace else and you have to cut leases, find leases, um, you have to you have to you have to reevaluate a belief system of somehow okay and the reevaluation of this belief system results in the cutting loose of some kind of ties commitments or obligations this card is about freedom from some kind of restrictive thing in your life okay and the 3 of pentacles comes on top of this and and reiterates an offer there is an offer that's being made to you that is in your best interest, but Pisces is all afraid and tied up in their head about this particular offer, okay? Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is about decisions for what's in your best interest, responsible decisions to the magician. The universe is manifesting this into your life. The pieces are falling together. The Legos are locking. The dominoes are falling. And I think Pisces is over here in this Eight of Swords energy thinking that this is all just too good to be true. Okay? Too good to be true. But with this magician right here, this particular Pisces has manifested this somehow, some way. Okay? And now it's happening and Pisces is having a little bit of a meltdown. The Five of Cups in reverse. Move on from loss, regret, despair, disappointment because this whole situation has been manifested to bring you out of some kind of deficit. Financial deficit perhaps, definitely something in your sense of well-being, right? Coming out of a well-being deficit is what this whole opportunity is going to do for Pisces, okay? It's going to change everything, and it's going to change the trajectory of your path and, and, and your life, Pisces. 
the Ace of Wands in reverse, but Pisces is all about, oh, maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe I shouldn't put the effort into this. Maybe I shouldn't do this. And then the Ace of Wands comes on top of it and says, yes, you should. Yes, you should. You should get excited about the. <laughs> you should get excited about this. This is creation. This is beginnings. This is new potential that the universe has divinely orchestrated through different people along the chain of command to put you in a position where everything is lined up for you to partake in this, okay? Seven of Pentacles comes on top of that Ace of Wands and talks about having vision. It's about profit, reward, um, sowing seeds, okay? So the seeds are being sown. The seeds have been sown. Um, if this is something that has happened with you in the recent past, this is a good decision. If this is something that is going on with you right now and you're afraid about this movement in your life, this is a good decision. If this hasn't happened yet, it's coming your way and it's a good decision. All right, the star. Star. It's part of your path. It's part of your purpose, Pisces. Part of your path. Part of your purpose. The Six of Cups in the middle of the reading. Perhaps, 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 this is just simply some kind of four fuzzy, warm walls that the universe is trying to get you to settle into. Perhaps it has something to do with family. Perhaps someone's moving in with you. Perhaps you're moving in with someone. Perhaps you're adopting children, Pisces, or a child. Um, perhaps you are joining forces with um, a company, a team, a roommate. Perhaps you are uh, revisiting a family home and thinking about moving in there. Something with the warm fuzziness that makes up emotional fulfillment in your life, okay? It is in the center of your reading. It is clarified by the Seven of Cups. Options, choices, decisions, okay? Decisions, decisions, decisions. And the sun says, see very clearly. This is the path to happiness, success, and vitality. Whatever this offer is for whomever this is hitting for, it is the way that you are supposed to go, Pisces. Of course, this is a general reading. Don't make any important life decisions off of my general tarot card readings or anyone else's. This could be a bazillion different situations and circumstances. And the only way to know your true story is to have your own cards read. So don't make this decision and come back around to me in six months and say, this was terrible. I don't know why I listened to you because I'm telling you, don't listen to me in a general reading, all right? This is an overarching kind of thing. If you want to know the brass tacks of your situation, take advantage of the sale and get your cards read. But this is a good thing. It's a good, good, good thing. The Princess of Swords, right? This is new seedlings of thoughts in your mind in regards to this communication, the Nine of Pentacles, this situation is going to put you in a financially stable situation. This, this, this thing that you're going through here, Pisces, is in your best interest. The Seven of Wands, the Pisces overwhelmed about it. The Ace of Cups in reverse because... Tell me about this Ace of Cups in reverse right here. Tell me about this Ace of Cups in reverse right here. Pisces is overwhelmed about this situation with the Seven of Wands right here, okay? Overwhelmed, right? The Ace of Cups in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse is not fully emotionally invested, right? It is, it's, it's, you're worried that this is going to cause some kind of upset. Three of Wands in reverse. Um, you're worried that it's going to create some kind of obstacle. That it's, it, this is also about a lack of foresight, right? You're worried that long term, this isn't going to work out. And the Ace of Swords says, see very clearly, have an aha epiphany moment. 
to the star that everything, the star, the star, everything has been divinely orchestrated in this situation. Every single person, every single moving part has been orchestrated to bring you to the point that you're at right now in this decision-making process. And judgment, discernment, good decisions. This is good for you. This is in your best interest to make a solid decision to engage with this situation. Two of Cups, situation definitely involves another person, okay? Another person. Maybe you're moving in with... Um, um, a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Maybe um, you are getting engaged to get married and moving in with each other and you're feeling a little off kilter about it. Whatever this is, it's an offer of movement in your life and it is absolutely positively supposed to be happening for you, okay? So someone else, the King of Wands in reverse, afraid of a lack of success. Perhaps you are joining forces with someone you don't know somehow. Maybe you're being assigned, if you're a, a cop, right, a police officer, um, perhaps you're being assigned a new partner and you're all anxiety stricken about it. And you're like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I don't know how, it's good. It's good, Pisces. It's good. Perhaps um, you are bringing in a third roommate, right? I don't see anything. Well, the Three of Cups right there, right? So maybe you're adding another person to the mix. And I don't mean in a romantic relationship, okay? Um, somehow there's someone else and you are concerned that the situation is going to be unsuccessful. The Eight of Cups in reverse clarifies this and talks about um, walking away and hopelessness, right? Perhaps you're thinking about not engaging with this because there is someone else involved. And the Six of Wands in reverse comes on top of that and says you're worried about a lack of success in the situation. But again, the Ace of Swords, just like this Ace of Swords back here, says see clearly, clearly, clearly. The Chariot, go, do it. Put in the self-control, the willpower, the determination, whatever it is you got to do to get a hold of yourself, Pisces. The Four of Wands, because the universe is leading you to a place of safety, security, and an opportunity to create something more than you have in your life right now. Four of Swords in reverse, worried, worried. Five of Pentacles in reverse to the Ace of Pentacles. You're again reiterating you are worried, but the Ace of Pentacles says this is going to be a great situation for you to maybe save some money, for you to begin to work on something that is going to create some money somehow. Maybe you are renting some kind of facility to do some kind of entrepreneurial project. And there is more happening than you realized. And you're a little scared now. But it's a good thing, Pisces. It's a good thing. Five of Pentacles. It's going to bring you out of a state of insecurity somehow. Whether it's financial or just an overall sense of well-being. Okay? Two of Pentacles in reverse talks about being imbalanced. Why? Six of Swords in reverse because of all kinds of mental baggage. Remember, we started with that Eight of Swords, right? A mental imprisonment. So feeling insecure, imbalanced, mental baggage. And the hangman says, take Pisces, right? Take a step back. And have a new perspective. Cut yourself loose from this tree with a new perspective. Look, the Empress. Because this is in your best interest, Pisces. The Empress is the seedbed of all creation. And this thing that's going on with you right here is the seeds being planted in your seedbed that you have prepared with your understanding that what you think about comes about, that your soul is leading you and guiding you to your true north. And the Empress understands that because she was made from those lessons, the magician, what you think about comes about. Period. Whether you like it or not, if, if it's in your best interest or not, what you manifest in your mind becomes your reality. The Empress understands that, so she's very careful what she allows to ruminate in her mind, right? She comes from Lesson 2, which is the High Priestess. Your intuition, your inter eternal soul, your eternal soul trying to lead you and guide you in the path of your best and highest good. So they're telling you, remember who you are. Stand up straight 
and don't be overwhelmed by this situation. Seven of Swords in reverse. Break free from a futile mindset. Seven of Pentacles. That's going to keep you stuck. Okay? Three of Cups. There is an offer that is being made to you, and it is going to be outrageously successful. Okay? The King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. If this is some kind of domestic partnership of some sort, absolutely engage in it. If this is some kind of collaboration with a group of people, engage with it because there is a great deal of success attached to it. The Page of Wands is about enthusiasm, excitement, new opportunities, being excited about it. Ten of Swords in reverse is about a renewal, renewal of a mindset, right? Let go of a crisis mindset and begin to see this whole opportunity as something that is going to point you in the trajectory of path and purpose in your life. Chariot again, do it, go forward, do it. Death in reverse, have an internal transformation that changes you from that eight of swords and the doubt that's all over this reading boom, to the Eight of Wands, and go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it, Pisces. And the Alchemist again, second time, right? Point your mind in the direction of this being a positive situation, of this being a positive opportunity, of this being something, understand that this is divinely orchestrated somehow, some way, into your life based on a desire in your mind that you have had at some point. Princess of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Excitement, enthusiasm. Go, 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 Pisces. Go. Seven of Pentacles. It's going to be just fine. It's going to be just fine, Pisces. Reflecting and assessing, taking a step back, reevaluating the situation. Ten of Cups and coming to the conclusion that yes, this is going to be great. This is divinely orchestrated. The Three of Wands, have some foresight, prepare yourself. This is coming, this is happening. The Hermit in reverse, withdrawal. The Princess of Cups in reverse, talking about emotional disconnection. And then the Three of Pentacles talking about teamwork and collaboration. I just want to get something on this hermit right here before we close this all out, the two of wands. Okay, right? So the hermit is uh, uh, isolation, withdrawal, solitude. If you will check in with your whatever it is that you've called source energy okay because this says you're a little bit withdrawn that you're not seeing the profound orchestration that is happening in this situation okay we need to do some soul searching and introspection okay the two of wands because the universe is setting up your future the princess of cups in reverse this is your your um this is your disbelief okay and then the three of pentacles comes on top of this and talks about teamwork oh what do i have right here teamwork collaboration it's going to be just fine and look at that strength right strength strength comes on top of all of it and says overcome your mind pisces and engage in this opportunity it is a fabulous opportunity whatever it is for you it's fabulous if it's love and romance which i don't have a lot of love cards here for a romantic thing but there is the emperor the empress the king of pentacles the queen of pentacles the two of cups the star is here twice the sun this is this is divinely orchestrated pisces so take advantage of it don't be afraid of it and engage and if you want your cards read hit me up at the path of take advantage of the sale and namaste who do you think you are a step-by-step -step guide to shed your skin and awaken your soul this book is available as a paperback on Amazon, an ebook on Kindle, and an unofficial Audible version on Gumroad. Who do you think you are and why? 
Despite what you've been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will walk through the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose, with self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free. This book is available as a paperback on Amazon, an ebook on Kindle, and an unofficial Audible version on Gumroad. All of the links are in the box below. Namaste.